guys, it's your girl, Mickey Rocks one and today I'll be telling you guys 9 myths in Animal Jam. Being an older player, of course, I have believed that they were true for a long time until they were proven false by much, 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 much evidence. Myth number one. At one point, it was said if enough people were dancing around the mirror that the mirror would come back to life and dance with you. Truly, I don't know how this myth came to be but I certainly was not a part of it. Myth number two. When the Diamond Shop was released on May 20th of 2013, people believed that if enough people danced in the Diamond Shop that you would be rewarded with diamonds. To second up this myth, people believed that it only worked when you were all white. Sadly, I supported this myth and I was actually a part of it. I tried dancing and for an hour, I waited for the diamonds I never received. There go my diamonds. Myth number three. People once said that if enough people were dancing on the Coral Canyon's bridge, that if it broke, you would receive rare items, membership, or anything to your benefit. Sadly, the bridge does not break whatsoever. It does crack slightly, but that's the most of it. Myth number four. I recall this myth so well because I was trying this myth so hard. I believed it is true. People once said that if enough people jumped on the ice and met Shivir, that you would eventually break the ice and received a membership or rares. I tried so hard on the smith but never got anything from it as the ice will only crack slightly but not break. Myth number five. People believe that if enough people were sleeping near the lost temple of Zios, that the Zios would eventually come to life. Really? That honestly be an awesome thing to see in Animal Jam. Myth number six. People believed that once a clearance or a regular item went out of store that it was automatically beta if not enough were purchased. Sadly, that does not make an item beta. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but not even headdresses and or spikes are beta. Myth number seven. People believe that if your den was full all the time, that you could not be on the Epic Dens list. This I found out was untrue when I got on the Epic Dens list. Myth number eight. If you guys recall, when the Forgotten Desert came out, everyone was obsessed with theories and how to get rares in this game. The biggest myth for this adventure was that if you got any ground chest, that your bigger chest items would be very bad items. This myth was proven untrue when ground chests started to include black long collars. Just the other day, my friend got rewarded a black long collar from a ground chest. So ground chests are only to your benefit. It's your choice whether or not you use them. Personally, I'm not sure, but I would like to call this one a myth. If you guys recall the name Fman122, this is the very popular hacker known to send necklaces to random jammers and if you opened up that jammogram, you would get hacked. Sadly, there's not enough proof of this to say it's true, but there's not enough to say it is false. Therefore, I will still keep it a myth. Maybe it's a hoax, maybe it's not. Or maybe it's just something we'll never know. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys did not know at least one of these because I know a lot of you guys were around when half of these occurred, but hopefully it was something new. If you guys like my content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, feel free to check out my Instagram and my Animal Jam Amino, which is located at Megarox21. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to keep tuned, keep jamming.